fellow compounders, welcome back. Today we're diving into a hot topic for investors. Which is the best income ETF to buy right now? Is it SHD, VIG, BYM, or NOVL? If you want to boost your income through dividends or grow your portfolio through smart investments, this video is for you. So let's get started. This video is for educational purposes only and should not be considered financial advice. I am not your financial advisor and you are responsible for your own financial decisions. First, Let's quickly review what an ETF is and the basics of income investing. What is an ETF? ETFs are exchange traded funds or investment funds traded on stock exchanges, much like stocks. They are baskets that hold assets such as stocks, commodities, or bonds. They allow you to buy one stock or basket that has multiple assets in it. ETFs are popular because they offer diversification, liquidity, some tax advantages, and typically lower fees than current to mutual funds. They're a great way for investors to gain exposure to a wide range of assets without having to buy each one individually. What is income investing? Income investing is a strategy focused on generating steady income from investments, typically through dividends or interest payments. This can be divided into two main categories, yield-focused investing, which aims for higher immediate income, and dividend growth-focused investing, which seeks to increase income over time through growing dividends. Yield-focused investing is great for those who need income now, like retirees. Dividend growth investing, on the other hand, is ideal for those who want their income to grow over time, helping to combat inflation and increase purchasing power. Now let's break down each of these four ETFs, SCHD, BIG, BYM, and NOBL, and see which one might be the best fit for your portfolio. By the way, the data is as of July 17, 2024. First up, we have the Schwab U.S. Dividend Equity ETF, ticker symbol SCHD. SCHD aims to track the Dow Jones U.S. Dividend 100 Index, focusing on high-quality companies with strong dividend histories. Investment Strategy SCHD focuses on companies with a minimum of 10 consecutive years of dividend payments. The index screens for quality using metrics like return on equity, free cash flow to total debt, and the five-year dividend growth rate. It's managed by Charles Schwab. The fund has approximately $56 billion in assets under management, and it has an expense ratio of 0.06%, or six basis points, which is quite low and very appealing. Dividend yield is around 3.5%. It has a five-year dividend growth rate of 12.88% and a 10-year average total return of 11.03%. The top sectors include financial, healthcare, consumer staples, industrials, energy, making up nearly 74% of the total portfolio. The number of positions held is 103. The top 10 holdings are Home Depot, Amgen, BlackRock, Avi, Texas Instrument, Cisco Systems, UPS, Chevron, Verizon, and Lockheed Martin. The top 10 holdings are 40% of the fund. SCHD's combination of yield and dividend growth makes it appealing to both income-focused and growth-focused investors. Its sector diversification adds a layer of stability, which is crucial in volatile markets. Additionally, SCHD's focus on quality companies with robust financial metrics ensures that it maintains a portfolio of reliable dividend payers, providing a steady income stream for investors. Next, let's look at the Vanguard Dividend Appreciation ETF, ticker VIG. VIG aims to track the S&P U.S. Dividend Growers Index, which includes companies that have increased their dividends for at least 10 consecutive years. Here's a detailed overview of VIG. Investment Strategy VIG focuses on companies with a strong history of dividend and growth. It excludes the top 25% highest yielding companies to maintain a focus on growth rather than yield. Vanguard is the fund's sponsor, known for its commitment to low-cost investing. The fund manages around $70 billion. VIG has an expense ratio of 0.06%, aligning it with other low-cost options. Its dividend yield is 1.76%, and it has a five-year dividend growth rate of 10.26%. It has a 10-year average total return of 11.38%, which is 0.35% better than SCHD, and it is the best performing ETF out of the four that we are reviewing today. Key sectors. It has a significant exposure to technology, financials, healthcare, industrials, and consumer defensive sectors. These five sectors represent 83% of the fund. The number of holdings are 342, and its top 10 holdings are Apple, Microsoft, JP Morgan Chase, Broadcom, ExxonMobil, United Health, Visa, Procter & Gamble, MasterCard, and Costco. The top 10 holdings represent 30% of the fund. BIG is ideal for investors looking for long-term growth through increasing dividends. Its significant exposure to the technology sector has driven its recent outperformance compared to other ETFs. This focus on tech and other growth sectors 
helps BIG capitalize on the high growth potential of these industries, which can lead to higher overall returns to for investors. Moving on, we have the Vanguard High Dividend Yield ETF, ticker symbol BYM. BYM focuses on high dividend yield stocks within the S&P 500. So let's delve into the specifics of BYM. Investment strategy. BYM targets higher yielding, more established companies aiming to provide a higher dividend yield compared to the broader market. Vanguard sponsors this ETF, reinforcing its reputation for low cost. It has about $55 billion in assets under management, and it has an expense ratio of 0.06%, making it another cost-effective choice. The dividend yield is 2.88%, and it has a five-year dividend growth rate of 5.81%. Its 10-year average total return is 9.61%. Major sectors include financials, consumer defensive, industrials, healthcare, and technology. They account for 70% of the portfolio. The number of holdings is 560. The top 10 holdings are JP Morgan Chase, Broadcom, ExxonMobil, Procter & Gamble, Johnson & Johnson, Home Depot, Merck, Avi, Walmart, and Bank of America. The top 10 holdings account for 24% of the fund. While BYM offers a solid yield, its recent performance has been less compelling compared to growth-oriented ETFs like SCHD. It's heavily tilted towards capital-intensive industries, which might be less attractive in a high interest rate environment. However, BYM's higher yield can be beneficial for investors seeking immediate income, making it a good choice for those looking to maximize their current cash flow from investments. Finally, let's talk about the ProShares S&P 500 Dividend Aristocrats ETFs, ticker symbol NOBL. This ETF invests in companies within the S&P 500 that have increased their dividends for at least 25 consecutive years. Here's an in-depth look at NOBL. NOBL focuses on long-term dividend growth and consistency, investing in companies with a track record of 25 years of increasing dividends. ProShares is the sponsor. It's known for its innovative ETF offerings. The fund manages around $12 billion in assets. Noble, or NOBL, has a higher expense ratio of 0.35%. The dividend yield is 2.12%, and it has a five years dividend growth rate of 8.68%. The 10-year average total return of this fund is 10.14%. The major sectors are consumer defensive, industrials, financials, basic materials, and healthcare. This fund has a much lower exposure to technology and energy. The number of holdings are 58, and the top 10 holdings are CH Robinson, Walmart, Essex Property Trust, S&P Global, Next Era, Ecolab, Brown & Brown, Air Products and Chemicals, Colgate Palmolive, and Aflac. Despite recent underperformance, NOBL's focus on high-quality established companies makes it a solid defensive play. It's particularly appealing in uncertain market conditions. Its emphasis on dividend aristocrats ensures that investors are putting their money into companies with proven stability and reliability, which can be especially valuable during economic downturns. So, which ETF is the best choice for you right now? The answer depends on your specific goals. For yield and dividend growth, SCHD offers a compelling combination of current yield and strong dividend growth, making it suitable for investors looking for both income and growth. The focus on high quality companies with strong financials ensures a balanced risk and reward. SCHD has the highest five-year dividend growth among the four. For long-term growth, VIG, with its focus on consistent dividend growers and significant tech exposure, is ideal for those prioritizing long-term capital appreciation. Its lower yield is compensated by the potential for significant capital gains and dividend growth over time. Over the 10-year period, VIG performed the best among the four ETFs we looked at. For higher immediate yield, BYM might be attracted if you're seeking a higher current yield, though its growth potential is limited compared to SCHD. This makes it a good fit for investors who need income now rather than in the future. BYM has the most holdings among the four, but even though its name says high yield, SCHD at 3.5% is higher than the 2.9% provided by BYM. So even though BYM is the ETF focused on yield, SCHD can also fit this role. For stability and quality, NOBL is a great choice for a defensive position with a focus on high quality, long-term dividend payers. Its emphasis on stability and consistency makes it a solid choice for risk-averse investors. Its 10-year annual total return of around 10% is in the range of the other ETFs. Some investors prefer to hold NOBL, while others use a combination of SCHD and BIG or BYM. Personally, in my portfolio, I hold SCHD combined with VTI and QQQM. Here's a summary table of the four ETFs. You may pause the video and take a screenshot for your reference. Ultimately, 
A diversified approach might involve holding a mix of these ETFs to balance yield, growth, and stability. By combining these ETFs, you can take advantage of the strengths of each one, creating a robust and resilient portfolio. As always, consider your investment horizon, risk tolerance, and financial goals before making any investment decisions. Thanks for watching. Remember to always be compounding. See you in the next video. Take care.